All right, hi, welcome back guys. Um, firstly, this video, I'm, I'm not gonna really talk about China too much, mainly because not much has changed here since the last video I did. Things are kind of still ticking over. We've gone 13 days here in Xi'an without any new cases, which is really good, um, but it's still not back to normal, as you can probably imagine. The thing I wanna talk about in this video is how it's going outside of China around the world and if people are taking it seriously and should they be taking it seriously. So I just wanna start by showing you a very, very quick video. This was from yesterday um, of Boris Johnson giving a speech. I, well, Victoria, I can tell you that I, 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 I'm shaking hands continuously. I was, at a, I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody, uh, you'll be pleased to know, and, and I continue to shake hands. And uh, uh, I think it's very important that we, you know, people obviously can make up their own minds. I think the, Matt has said that people must make up their own minds, but I think the scientific evidence is, well, I'll hand over to the, to, to the experts, but, but wash our, judge, our judgment is wash. Uh, washing your hands is the crucial thing. Uh, yes. Before you shake hands, obviously. All right, so I don't want this video to be very political, but what Boris Johnson is saying in this video is is very, very... It's, it's, it's kind of strange. I don't really understand what the point in him saying it is that he's walking around shaking hands of coronavirus patients. <laughs> um, notice the, the expert to his left who, you know, when when brought into the conversation, immediately says, wash your hands. That's good advice. I'm not sure, it seems like a lot of people, have, particularly politicians, not scientists, by the way, politicians, are definitely playing this down a lot. Um, it could be to try to protect economies, who knows? But either way, it's, um, it's a strange thing for a leader of a country to be saying. Um, but it does maybe create a kind of a, I guess for some people, maybe a sense of security, like, oh, it's not that bad after all. This is a really dangerous thing to think about, um, which is gonna lead me on to my next point. Now, for me personally, I don't believe that this is some end of the world doomsday. And I also don't believe it's, it's, it's a nothing thing that people are overreacting about. Um, I think it's a very, very serious thing that people right now all around the world should definitely be thinking about. And if they're not, well, it's probably about time to wake up at this point. Um, I've been following quite a few feeds on, you know, Twitter and, and, and Reddit and things. And there seems to be a couple of things that are constantly thrown out there um, to try to play this thing down. And I want to address those right now and uh, hopefully debunk them with some facts and some of my own personal experience. So the first thing that's being said quite a lot is that A, it's just like the flu, or it's not as bad as the flu, or it's just like a bad cold. Um, no, is the answer to that. Of course, of course, that's, that's, that's really naive to think that. Um, firstly, the flu obviously is, is a very serious disease and kills a lot of people around the world every year, it does. Because A, it's very contagious and it, it has a death rate a fatality rate of about 0.2%. This virus has a fatality rate now of approximately 3.4%, according to the WHO, which was just being uh, raised from about 2%. If it's 2%, it's still really high. Um, and people are saying, well, you know, thousands of people die, hundreds of thousands of people die from the flu every year. This has just killed a couple of thousand people. It's because it's not really established yet. But if things aren't put into place to stop it, of course, it will become really, really, really established. If anyone is still thinking this is just a cold or a flu, I don't really know what to say. Um, okay, from my experience, and it's, it's quite well known news, it's not obviously made up, think about China and the fact that they closed the whole country, canned their entire economy, and made 700 million people stay indoors. That is not the action of any country if it's just a cold or just a flu. If that doesn't tell you it's serious, I truly don't know what will at this point. Um, it is a highly serious, it's a really serious situation we're living in. And um, I think some people might just be in denial or thinking, oh, well, it's never gonna happen to me maybe. Time to start thinking about it at this point. I mean, it's, 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 there's outbreaks appearing all over the world at this point. So, you know, come on, time to wake up. 
All right, the second thing I want to talk about um, is the fact that a lot of people are kind of, I think they're maybe trying to protect themselves <laughs> by just using the old, well, it only kills old people idea. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even say that with a, with, with a straight face. It only kills old people, so therefore it's okay. It, no, it's not okay. That's ridiculous. Okay, just like the flu, actually, certainly most of the deaths from the coronavirus so far have been in in, in older people. It's killed people in basically every age range there is, actually, but most deaths are of of, of people who are who are older or with pre-existing um, health conditions. That doesn't mean it's 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 okay. You know, like people have, we have people in our families, right? Parents, grandparents. Um, I'm not sure how people can just dismiss it that simply. Um, the other thing that is really important to note is the fact that people who get this virus, who have this virus, can be asymptomatic for up to three weeks. Now, what that means is you can potentially have the virus, have no symptoms, you're not coughing, you're not sneezing, you have no fever, you've got nothing walking around, going about your business, going to work, going to see your grandma, and you can be passing that virus on without even knowing it. Um, and this is why this idea of it's just old people it kills is really awful. Like it's the most awful thing I think anyone could ever think. Because yeah, maybe you will be all right. If you're, if you're 20 or 30 and you're healthy, probably you will be all right. I mean, that's the case. But people who you come into contact with very likely won't be. Um, so I think it's, it's these, these these ideas are just, they're out of control at this point. And I think people really need to start taking a lot more responsibility, not just for themselves, but for people around them. Um, it's the only way, it's actually the only way that this, this virus will actually stop is if people really start to, I don't know, stop being selfish and thinking about other people and probably start really thinking about other people. Um, it's, it's, it's the key to this whole thing now. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about is uh, things that, you know, people can do uh, to help yourself and to help other people around you. Uh, I'm not going to give any medical advice, of course, because I'm, 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 I'm not a doctor. Uh, but <laughs> I will talk about some things that, you know, are very easy to change uh, in your life, which might help you a lot. Um, things that we've been told to do here and things that people have been doing here, and it seems to have made a really big difference. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is not going to crowded places should seem obvious this this should seem really obvious now if you go into a crowded place full of people in a especially in an indoor place like uh, that's i mean you're really putting yourself in a dangerous position at that point um you don't know who's around you you don't know where they've been you don't know where they've come from and as I said earlier, because this virus is, can be asymptomatic for, for, for weeks, they might look fine and healthy. You might look fine and healthy, um, but you don't, know, you, you, you don't know the situation. And therefore, someone could come, you could catch the virus, you won't even know it, you'll go home, go around all your family and friends and you'll feel fine. And then two weeks later, you feel sick and suddenly other people start feeling sick. This is how it spread in China, basically. You know, this is how it spread in the early days before people really understood about the about anything about the virus. Um, man, people have got to learn from what's already happened. Uh, it's 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 absolutely wild. Second thing is uh, is wearing a mask. Now, there's a few there's a few things, news stories, I've seen recently saying that you know masks don't work, so don't bother wearing one. I mean. Come on. Why do you think nurses and doctors wear masks? For fun? Okay, they, of course, they're not, they're not going to make you immune to all disease. Will they give you a little bit more protection? Yeah, sure they will, right? Um, here in Asia, in China, or in South Korea and Japan, actually, people often wear masks anyway for pollution, actually, you know, or for just if you're getting on public transport, just to again, to kind of look after yourself. It's kind of a common thing. Now, in other countries, particularly in the West, like in the UK, wearing a mask is not really a common thing, so people kind of feel self-conscious about it. Um, what can I say? Get over it, probably, at this point. Uh, if you wear a mask, it doesn't harm anyone else. 
you know, and it might actually protect someone else and it might protect yourself. Just do it. If you're living in a city like London, if you're taking the tube and things, which has really low ventilation and it's just shock a block full of people, um, just 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 wear a mask. It's 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 so simple and it might give you that little bit of help. Um, the last thing that you can do, which is really, really simple as well. Though actually, there's a one thing in the Boris Johnson video which actually made any sense. It wasn't from Boris Johnson. It was from the guy next to him. He said, wash your hands. Of course, we should wash our hands all the time anyway, not just in a pandemic situation. But right now, it's, I mean, it, 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 it is so important. Um, everyone here, and I include myself in China, honestly, I'm, I don't even know how many times a day I wash my hands now. It's just out of control. It's become this almost obsessive <laughs> habit to wash my hands every 20 minutes. Or if I've gone out, if I've touched a door handle outside, anything, you know, you, you, that's what you do. Um, does it work? Is it helpful? I think so. Um, I'm not sick yet. Uh, and no one else I know is sick, so that's good. It's about changing habits. Um, and I think the main takeaway I hope people get from this video is this thing isn't going away. It's not going away. It's not just going to disappear. Um, it's going to take some lifestyle changes and it's going to require people to start taking it seriously. Um, you know, not walking to hospitals and shaking people's hands who have coronavirus, that kind of stuff. Um, so I hope people do start to take it more seriously in England and, and around the world, not just in the UK. All right, so I think that's about it for this video. If you do have any questions or comments, please just pop them below in the comments section um, and hit that subscribe button and I will do another video next week. Okay, thanks a lot guys, bye-bye.